In this video, I'll show you how you can delete a module from within .NET Nuke 7. Now, there's actually two different ways you might go about deleting a module within DNN. First, you might actually delete a module from a page. We'll go through that process. I will also then show you how you can uninstall a module from the .NET Nuke installation, which means it would remove that module from every page of every website within that .NET Nuke installation. Now, once you've uninstalled the module, you obviously would not be able to place that module on a page once again. So in order to delete a module from a page, what we're going to do is we're going to switch into edit mode. Now, I'm currently on the home page here. You could work with any page on your website. But I'm going to start here on this home page. We can see when we go into edit mode, we have a variety of modules available to us, all designated with the actions menus, the three black buttons around the website. And let's say we want to go ahead and delete the connect module here on the home page, which shows a link to Twitter, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google. There's actually two different Twitter options there. So in order to delete that module from this page, we're going to mouse over the gear icon, which we've seen before in previous videos, allows us to get to the settings within our module. We can also go to the delete option. If we go ahead and click on delete, we're going to get prompted to make sure we actually want to delete the module. We'll go ahead and click on yes, and that will remove that module from the home page. Now, if that module had been displayed on other pages as well, it actually still resides on those other pages because we just deleted that one module from the home page. Now, if we want to go ahead and delete or uninstall a module completely, we can do that by going to the host extensions page. We're going to navigate to that host extensions page, and we're going to go ahead and uninstall a module called form and list. Now we installed this module in a previous video in the video library, but we're not actually using this module on the website. If we were, in the column over here where it currently says no, it would say yes. It would tell us if the module was in use on any pages, and if it said yes, we could actually click on the word yes, and that would then take us to the ability or take us to a list to be able to see where that module is in use. But the process of uninstalling a module is to go over to the right and click on the trash, t trash can icon. And at this point, we'll be walked through the uninstall process. We can go ahead and click on delete files and then click on uninstall package. We do need to confirm, go ahead and click on yes, and then the uninstallation will complete. We should see an uninstall successful message at the bottom. If we go ahead and click on return, that will then take us back to the host extensions page. That does cause our website to restart, so it'll take a moment for that process to occur in the website or the extensions page to reload. But we've gone through and we've now uninstall the module from this .NET 7 website. We've also deleted a module from a specific page within that website. 